All right, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, several audio files in here. And I'm going to be talking about fades. And basically, use fades for smooth transitions if you're going to link together audio files, or um, you know, even if you want to not such a harsh um, introduction to an audio file, you can put a fade into it. So I have our lovely baboon fade, our lovely baboon track here. So I'm going to demonstrate this. And the best way to do this is to place the cursor right up in the upper um, corner. You can either do it the left-hand corner or the right-hand corner. And once you see it turn to this fade tool, you'll see a, um, you know, a little, it's called a fade tool, and you have left and right arrows. If you click and drag, it will automatically create a fade. So you can see there that it's created a fade. And basically what this is doing, it's probably not going to be demonstrated much on this track, but um, by the curve of the fade, you can see that the audio is going to start to come in stronger as the fade um, kicks in. So this is nice if you want to, you know, basically transition between two audio files. Sometimes if you get clicks or pops in audio files, you want to put a fade in there to get rid of it. Um, you can drag the fade to encapsulate, you know, more and more of the track. Now if you command, um, the white line is actually the fade line. If you see it right here, that's where the fade will end. So you can move that around. And if you command click when the fade tool is showing, it will show you different fades. There's there's a there's a different fade. This one kicks in um, fairly quickly and then sort of moves out. This one takes a while to get in, and you can experiment with the different fades. This is an S fade right here, which is really um, used for transitioning for smooth transitions. So again, all you have to do is command click when the fade tool is showing. You got to make sure that that fade tool is showing up there. Um, or there's the S, S curve, I'm sorry. That's the one for smooth transitions. So, um, and if you get a fade in there you don't like, if you just go Command Z, notice I can just keep undoing it until I'm all the way back to my um, square one. Um, there's also something called an auto crossfade, and this is a nice feature, and you're going to be using this a lot. It's located up here in the toolbar, and I'm going to deselect it right now. And let's say that I wanted to combine these two audio files to transition. So if I move this over, you'll notice that the um, audio file is just going to plop right on top of it, and it's going to, um, you know, just transition right into it. Now, if I turn the auto crossfade on. Let's do something here. First, I'm going to um, zoom in and zoom out. So if you look, you have tools over here to the left. You have a plus and minus button. So if I click on this, notice that it's making the, the track a little larger um, or, you know, wider. So I can use that and pull this back down. And then I can use the plus and minus buttons um, down at the bottom to elongate the track. So now we can sort of get a, a different visual as far as, let me make this even larger here. I'm using the bar to slide this back up into view. So now when I drag this, the auto fade tool is selected over here, crossfade. And if I click on this and drag it, you'll notice that it's hard to see with the black, but now it's, it's, it's um, merging with it and creating an auto, it's creating a fade. So I can line this up exactly how I want it, and I've created a crossfade. Now you may have a grid showing, so here's a grid tool, and what the grid tool does is lock this in, and I'm going to talk more about the grid and how we can finite the grid later, but right now we'll just turn this grid line off so we can do, um, uh, you know, sm slide it over without having to worry about it locking into a grid. Now if you notice I have the auto crossfade tool going, now the same thing happens here with the auto crossfade, you can command click when the crossfade tool is showing, and Hard to see, but you'll notice that it's changing the crossfades. So once I have this tool selected, see how it's changing the crossfades right there? So now I can experiment with different crossfades that I may or may not want. Let's unselect this. Got to make sure it goes up into the crossfade tool while you're doing this. Um, so this is kind of, it, it's a very nice way to, to merge two audio files. And we're going to be doing this a lot when we loop. In fact, this uh, for this week, I'm going to give you a... Um, audio file that you're going to have to merge together and create a longer audio file with um, seamlessly. And the way you do that is using the crossfade tool. So um, that's basically crossfade. So experiment with the different crossfades, link some audio files together. Like I said, I'm going to give you some this week, or at least one audio file that you can uh, link together and have to do for a project.